Yeah, we were wondering um, how to motivate people to become a driver of change in societies of transition because obviously this concerns every one of us. And of course we are concerned about active citizenship, all of us, and about getting people to actually do something about your society because you can. But we of course wondering what drives people and um, so that's why we made this the issue of our seminar. The scary face of capitalism now, well, it's, it's there because every one of us, or more or less, is like have, has really incorporated this image. Okay, well, if I don't care more for myself, no one do it, and we jumped on this elbow society. And um, on the more wider level of community, um, we see that, especially in rural areas, there is really a lack of concepts on how to deal with transition, with the migrating of people going to the cities or going to other countries. Um, it's more um, administrating the loss than really looking, looking forward and, and developing concepts for uh, these remote areas. Within this context, against this background we all face, and this is familiar, which is familiar to all of us, where to start and how do we get people in, in this who are rather frustrated, who felt like who have like given up on, on the official political sphere, feel there's nothing to uh, nothing to do from them. And yeah, so we have two cases we like to present to you, starting with Olena. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then German. My name is Olena. I'm from Ukraine, from Kiev, uh, and of course, uh, we uh, we had this uh, revolutionary movement. I know that most of you from Eastern Partnership uh, countries, so you know what is this. You don't have this uh, propagandic kind of style of thinking because in Sweden they just uh, from audience asking me like, is it fascism in Ukraine or what? So for many people in Europe, there is fascism in Ukraine and there are no civil society. There is something like a mess there. So this is nice picture of it was really productive working for Russia. But of course, I want to say about positive st stuff which is happening in Ukraine. This event, uh, it was uh, the end of February 2014. Uh, after Yanukovych ran away, uh, next day, it was uh, just in that day, starting occupation of uh, Ministry of Education. And next day, some people say in Facebook, like, let's go and occupy the Ministry of Culture. Because we don't want any more this corruption system, we want transparency, we want really changes, and we need new minister, we need to do criterion for minister, let's do changes. So many people ga gathered together and uh, just come to this basement, uh, block the doors, and uh, during two weeks we didn't get opportunity for ministerial people to come in. Uh, and it was not uh, something like we destroy everything. We block all the doors so nobody could come and t take documents or do something. So it was about control the the situation not to give opportunity to throw out the documents. Like uh, our team creating, we decided to do projects together and we created Congress of Cultural Activists, which is the, so it's also was like this, like we say, let's, uh, let's move forward and find the way how to collaborate between sectors, how to collaborate with other disciplines, how to collaborate inside a cultural, uh, cultural uh, community. And we uh, did uh, last year first Congress of Cultural Activists, this year second, and planned for next one third. At the Congress, it's, we did the open call and say, guys, we don't have money, we don't have support. Uh, we invite you to discuss our changes. Come in and somebody who do any projects in cultural field and want to change society, uh, you could come here and we will discuss. I discovered for myself that Eastern Germans, they're really, because of this influence of Soviets also, so many stuff are same from our childhood. And uh, also this feeling like our transition, uh, something like was done not by us, but somebody come and took all opportunities from our country. So for, for Eastern German, it was Western Germans who come and do many stuff, but don't give them opportunity and space to change the country. Yeah, but now you, I think you, a little bit better situation. In our case, it was oligarchs who took our, our businesses and uh, when we were so stupid, they like do something to, to take, uh, and so we, uh, we have our 
opinion about this transition they have there. Uh, from my point of view, uh, in our case for Ukraine, uh, it's not work when you say, guys, let's change our country into one moment. It's really not work like this. Should be kind of a common concern, common issue around which people can get together and uh, work. Because if there is no kind of common issue, kind of concern, it would be very hard, you know, to draw people to get united and then embark on change. I would like to present an example of East Germany. East Germany, as you know, um, had more or less the same kind of transition than the other um, uh, countries. But I think we faced like the other countries as well, a big process of de-industrialization, uh, a big change of narratives, like really fast from East German. It was like we called it uh, the, the turning heads because we turned our, our view from the East straight away to the West. So we were calling even people um, moving heads. Still, we have a higher unemployment rate on the Eastern parts, uh, apart from Berlin. So since the 90s till uh, 2012, more or less 2 million people left the eastern um, countries to, to go to the west. Somehow the women in the 90s decided not to have so many children anymore. So we are in eastern Germany was really like a really rapid, it never happened again in history, that before the women had like two children in average and then they had less than, they had 07. We have lots of lost buildings, lots of empty spaces, especially in the rural areas. And these are spaces which really lost uh, their public and social meanings. These are old fabrics, um, yeah, areas where you had these old fabric systems and they really broke down in a really short time. We um, were looking for initiatives which were taking over empty buildings. And we found some really interesting um, people and initiatives. And to answer the question how to motivate people, maybe this is a good example because it makes something visible which is sometimes not, not on the schedule at all. They started by accident. They, ha they were really not into active citizenship or historical questions or whatever. Um, they were really having individual issues like living, working, or doing something to have a party there or not but not about uh, local identity or history. But all of them, they came somehow to a point where they had to deal with the history of the building. And this is something really interesting because identity and history is very often strongly connected with the space. Um, and th from the very moment, that's what she's saying, when we came the first time to work on the house, because of course they had to repair it before they could live in, we realized that very day it was unbelievable Plenty of people stopped in front of the house and asked us to be allowed to come in and to take a look inside. That was the moment when we realized what an importance this house has in the minds of the generation of my mother and my grandmother. Uh, you talk about public spaces, you talk about physical spaces. I, I, I really believe uh, starting stronger and stronger that these spaces, public spaces, that in restricted environments are really scarce, <laughs> if not to say uh, <coughs> just absent. Uh, not in media, not in universities, not in public spaces, no parks, nothing. And in the city life, people have to come with, um, I mean, they have just come out to streets. Thank you, Zatmelov. I'm from Georgia. One of the main problems was that uh, uh, there were two groups, like one group who was working on, on some issue, like uh, on, on changing the life of the second group. Mm -hmm. And the second group was like, you know, uh, just waiting for these changes to happen someday. Uh, yeah, and, and we decided our team to change this, like, you know, to make them uh, themselves to participate in this change and yeah, it somehow uh, helped. I wrote down to perform the best example of your own because we are the changes. So mm. the more we will have successful stories, uh, the more we have such a partner, such a brilliant minds and such a uh, successful, it, it, the success means for us not only to become a, a president of Ukraine or whatever, to, to achieve your goal, you set from the, the, the lowest level in your neighborhood, in your district, in your city, then in your country, the more such people will have, 
the quickest success will come. Yeah, these people in our country suffered so many disillusionments and um, disappointments with the government, with the changes that were happening in the country that didn't bring immediate positive results on their lives. So uh, it's really, really, really hard to motivate these people. And our programs at the Open Society Foundation su uh, support these people who want to make positive changes in the country. Well, when they see that something is uh, doable and someone can do it, they, they um, feel that they can do it as well. And the second most important thing is empowering these people. And by empowerment, I mean building their confidence. And this confidence building can come all, um, only, not only from education, it can be like a skill building, providing certain tools, and also financial support is, sometimes it's not main, but sometimes it is also important. On one hand, um, to activate is really the issue, but just to activate, just activism itself, it's not the issue. It's also about democratic uh, and, and civic education. It's also, uh, there's always a normative um, thinking behind also. I don't want to see them all on the street fighting uh, against uh, uh, refugees and uh, migration, you know? So uh, it's not, not only about uh, making them active somehow. It should be also in a democratic way. That's when you say, okay, we're working a lot of on groups. We, would, uh, we consider to be a, a target group, like on non, uh, uh, not so well educated youngsters, on migrants, but we work on them, we're not working with them. And this is the issue that is, that is sometimes really, really difficult to design a pr uh, program or an idea or a learning situation where these people really feel welcome and there's not, not, not just somebody who saw that someone needs to be done above the, about them, but where they really feel invited to actually share their ideas and, and not get presented a done concept that is now supposed to work on them. And, and I think when this, is, this happens, then these, uh, these people, these groups feel sort of alienation, alienation or, or powerless even, or feel, okay, something's done upon me not with me, and that might lead to that kind of frustration or also contra-organization. I think this situation also with refugees and all this stuff, is, this is so interesting to understand the level of lives. Yeah, for some people, that's what I see in Sweden. They say that it's amazing that migrants come. We should to host them, they should be together. But after that, what will come after? What will be after? So this is, this is, I think, also the question to activists as we are, because then you, it's not only about, about humanitarian stuff, yeah, or values, human values, or something like this. It's also about understanding of eco ecosystem itself. How, and that's why I'm asking myself so often, my Polish partners ask myself, me, me, like, okay, Elena, in Ukraine there are a lot of changes, but you should support some activist movement somewhere also, like, because they change their society. I thought to myself, why? I have a lot of problems, why? But he said, but in other case, will be will migrants, will be other stuff. You need to pay attention to global things also. I don't know, it's my, my opinion, and this motivate also. Then you see that your uh, how it, how it calls yeah like act locally but think globally. Activism in Ukraine can look completely different from activism in Germany. You know, the civic education can look completely different. And like we heard about, you know, example about NGOs. You know, someone in the Western society would think, well, a, a NGO, you know, is an example of a rising civil society. Well, the research in Eastern Europe shows that sometimes NGOs are just another means to make money. The thing is, we're all thinking about the transition in our countries. And we had the, the thinking of, there's a generation, we belong to this generation. In different times, we can't fit the time of this transition. Yeah? But there are people who really took out something personally also of this transition. And are now, and that's what I would call we, yeah? this network, uh, struggling with the same questions. The uh, mechanism of motivation is, I think, very similar everywhere. 
actually, because it's, it's about psychology in the end. I try to sum up what, uh, what came from you, what came from the discussion. And um, there's not, nothing contradicting about it, actually. It's like when I give six points I have here, it's like first start with ask question, educate, make people start thinking. It's one. Then give examples, provide good models, be yourself the example. Then as a third, if you have people like, whoa, yeah, actually I could do something, I should do something, if you have these two steps, the next is provide spaces for, and give opportunities, give, give a structure, and that is where the top-down institutional level comes in, provides this kind of structure, gives the necessary support, um, provide low-level opportunities for action, so to never lose your vision, but start small, to have first experience of success. This is really, really crucial. And then talk about it. Talk, talk, talk about it. Like, do network, do meet people. And then the circles will start again. Because then you may get other people thinking, get asking them. And of course, with all this, you need to yeah, listen, have empathy, people you work, analyze. And then, so this is a kind of circle, really, for motivating people. Thank you.